I'm good. Thank you so much. My name is Dr. Mad. We have an appointment today, correct? Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and verify your first and last name. It's Katharina Clausen. And your date of birth, please? January 1st, uh, 1994. Okay. So I don't have you in my system. Okay. Is this your first time at our clinic? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you for coming in. Um, what brings you in? So I'm just here for an annual physical. Great. So we have plenty of time for an annual physical. And I'm just going to need to insert all your information in, and after that, I'm going to go ahead and do a medical exam. Okay. So can you please tell me your address? Okay, so it's 5432 mm -hmm. 70th Street. Perfect. Your phone number? 546-231-1574. Um, okay. And your social security, please. Five two six one nine five two one three. Okay. Do you have any allergies, Katharina? I do. Um, mm -hmm. I'm allergic to pollen and grass, okay. and I'm also allergic to cats. Cats. Okay. And are you taking any medications at the moment? Yes, I've got metformin for my for my blood sugar. Okay. I do take acetaminophen for my um, my shoulder pain. Okay. That's twice a day. I take about two hundred and fifty milligrams. Perfect. Thanks for that. Are you having any pain right now? Um, I just have a bit of mild shoulder pain. Okay. Can you please tell me which shoulder? Uh, this shoulder right here. Okay. Is that constant? Um. It's frequent, yes. And do you know what's the cause? I think it's just stress buildup. That's what one of my massage therapists told me. How long ago did it start? It's been a couple of years now. Okay. And does Tylenol help? Very much, yes. That's good. Then continue with that. And have you thought about doing physical therapy for your shoulder pain? I actually have not. Well, I highly recommend physical therapy for that kind of pain, most likely. It's muscular because you're still very young, so the chances of you having some osteoporosis or any um, any kind of problems like that are very low. So I would say that physical therapy is a good point to start with. Oh, thank you for that idea. Okay, and do you have any other medical history behind besides diabetes and shoulder pain? Um. Nope, only that my dad has had two heart attacks. Okay. Did your doctor ever tell you that you have blood pressure? Um, no. Okay. And what was your last physical? I actually can't remember. Okay, no problem. I think That's I'm why you're here. here. Okay. Okay, I think I have all the information needed. So mm -hmm. today we're going to do a head to toe assessment. First, I'm going to go ahead and take your vital signs, and after that, I'm going to check your head, check your face, your neck, go down to the body, and all the way to the toes. Is that okay? That's great, yes. Wonderful. So, I'm just going to go ahead and wash my hands. On a scale of 0 to 10, how bad would you rate your pain in the shoulder right now? Right now, I would just say like a 2. Okay. So first I'm going to take your temperature, this is going to go on your forehead. Great, no temperature, love that. And this is going to go on your finger exactly, so just relax, put your hand down the table. Sometimes it helps if you take a deep breath in for the oxygenation to, for the oxygen to go in your lungs. Great. Okay, just keep that there, and in the meanwhile, I'm going to prepare the blood pressure cuff. Wonderful, so your oxygenation is 99%, which is very good on room air, and your heart rate was 79 beats per minute, so that's also very normal. Now let's go ahead and check your blood pressure. Do you have an arm preference? That one? Okay. 
Is it okay if I roll the sleeve off? The stethoscope might be a little bit cold. Okay, thank you. Okay, so just make sure that both feet are on the ground and try to relax and don't talk. Wonderful. Blood pressure is 120 over 80. That's very normal. Okay, just gonna hold this down. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and check your pulse. So just keep that sleeve over there. Compare, so I'm just going to do the same thing on your other wrist. Very good. So your pulse is synchronizing to plus and strong, so that indicates that you don't have any heart problems. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do a more in depth medical exam. Perfect. Okay. So if it's okay with you, I'm going to have you sit up on the table and we're going to be starting. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Put gloves on. And we're going to start by checking your head. Okay. Are you experiencing dry skin on your head like the scalp is it too itchy in some parts sometimes i feel like i have like little bumps on my head but other than that it's normal okay so i'm gonna go ahead and check that first i'm just taking a look at the uh, whole body and the skin i'm making sure that the skin is very well perfused i'm not noticing any um, bluish discolorations nothing abnormal and now i'm gonna go ahead and touch your head any bumps yeah they're usually pretty small and then they go away after like a week mm -hmm. sometimes those bumps could be hormonal oh so like before period um, they would show up and after the period stops then um, they would disappear interesting okay so the head is symmetric I'm not noticing any lumps, nothing sticking out, so that's very good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and check your scalp and I wanna make sure that you don't have any kind of parasites infestation, okay? usually likes to stay behind the ear so that's why I am checking very well in the back of your head do you work in the school setting or your teacher um, I'm actually a um, insurance agent okay so you don't work with kids no usually uh, the professionals who work with kids are more likely to have that. Okay. But we're just making sure. 
Okay, so this side looks good. I'm just gonna go ahead and check that side if you don't mind turning for me. Perfect. Everything looks very normal. The hair follicle is strong and the hair distribution is also normal. Great job. Thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and palpate your face. I wanna make sure that no uh, tenderness is felt and also no deformities. I'm going to palpate the mat straight processes on both sides at the same time. Let me know if you're feeling any pain. Mm -mm, nothing. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to feel down the neck for any lymph node enlargement. swell for me. Very good. I'm gonna go ahead and check your thyroid. Can you just lift your chin up? Good. Perfect. So thyroid seems to be normal size. It's not enlarged. I'm not noticing any lumps. And when I'm palpating, I'm not feeling any lumps either. Good. Can you please swallow for me? Good. Now swallow them one more time. Perfect. Okay. Next I'm gonna go ahead and check your eyes. Are you experiencing any blurry vision, double vision? Um, no. Do you wear contacts or eyeglasses? Nope. Okay. So let's go ahead and check your eyes with a snow and chart first. I'm gonna have you cover one eye. I'm going to keep the snail chart a little bit farther from you. I think this is perfect. And I'm going to ask you to start from the top and go all the way to the last row. Okay, so E L T F P H O L C F D H J B S E P T Z O C F D H J L T F P H. Very good. And we're going to do the same thing with the other eye. E L T F P H O L C F D H J B S E P T Z O C F D H J L T F P H. Perfect. Just hold your hand over there. Can you please tell me when you see my fingers in your field division? Just look right here first. Yep. Now. Good. Now. Good. Now. Good. Now. Perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and switch. Now. Good. Now. Good. Now. Good. Now. Okay. Wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and flash a light in your eyes. Let me know if it gets too uncomfortable. So 
just look straight. Good. Okay, very good. And I'm gonna go ahead and just press down on your eye. Okay, sclera is normal. I'm not noticing any um, abnormal discharge and no signs of infection. Okay, Katharina, can you please tell me what color this is? Yellow. Very good. What color is this? Green. Good. What color is that? Purple. Great. So we're going to do a very short exercise. I'm going to have you tell me when you don't see the colors in your field of vision anymore, okay? Okay. Now. Good. Now. Good. Now. Good. Now. Perfect. Now. Wonderful. So go ahead and look right here for me, please. Look at the yellow color and just follow the yellow color with your eyes only. Don't move your head. Good. Very good. Now go ahead and look at the green. Do the same thing. Perfect. Please look at my light right here. Okay. Now look at my fingers. Good. So try not to move your head, just move your eyes only. Look at my light. Good. Look at my fingers. Good. Look at light. Good. Look at my fingers. Good light. Good. Look at my fingers. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and switch it up. Look at my fingers. Good. Look at the light. Perfect. Look at my fingers. Light. Perfect. So just follow the light now. Okay, I'm not seeing any problems with your eyes. Let's go ahead and check your nose. Okay. First, I'm gonna go ahead and palpate. Any pain? No. Okay. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay. Can you please look up for me? Okay. I'm not noticing any deviated septum, mucosa, sphinx, and moist. Okay, let's go ahead and check the other one. Okay. No deviated septum, no foreign objects, and both nostrils are patent. Let's go ahead and check your smell. So I do have here some samples. I'm just going to ask you to identify. Please cover one nostril for me. Perfect. Can you just tell me what this smells like? Peppermint. Very good. Go ahead, cover the opposite nostril now. Mango. Mango, good. And the last one. You can smell it with both nostrils. You got this? Yes. Let's go ahead and check your mouth next. Are you experiencing any teeth pain, uh, problems with your tongue, or increased uh, in size? Um, no. No. Perfect. So I'm going to have you open your mouth. Okay. Just going to take a look. A little bit wider. Perfect. Can you just stick your tongue out? Okay. Move it up and down. And side to side. Oh. Okay. So please go ahead and smile for me. Good. Now frown and puff your cheeks. Keep them puffed. Perfect. Clench your jaw. Okay. Keep it clenched. Okay. I'm not noticing. You can let go of the puff. Keep it clenched. Okay. Strong muscles. No clicking. Good. Now I'm going to have you look that way for me and try to resist. Okay. Good. Same thing on the other side. Perfect. Okay. Any pain when I'm pressing down your shoulders? Um, no. Okay. So which shoulder hurts? This one. Okay. Can you please push up? Shrug your shoulders. Good. Very strong. Okay, let's go ahead and check your ears. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look inside your ear. Are you experiencing any pain? No. Okay. Okay. 
So, I am noticing a little bit of earwax, which is totally normal, but no signs of infection. The tympanic membrane is intact. Okay. And as long as you're not experiencing any pain, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and check your other ear now. So please look this way for me. Perfect. Great. No abnormalities here. Let's go ahead and take a look. So normal earwax discharge, I would say, tympanic membrane, pearl gray, and no signs of inflammation in this ear either. Are you ha having any pain? No. Great. Okay, Katharina, I'm going to ask you to roll your sleeves up a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to check out your skin. I'm going to go ahead and check your hand and fingers. Can you please put your hand like this? Oh, you have a more right here. Okay. How long have you had it? So, funny story. I had a mole on this hand mm -hmm. right here. It faded. Mm -hmm. And randomly, one popped up right here. Interesting. Okay. I don't know what the correlation is, but... Yeah, sometimes there are just things that we can't explain, but they're totally normal. Okay. Okay. Capri refill is within two seconds, so that's very normal. Skin color is good. And your hands are dry. Perfect. Let's go ahead and check your other arm now. No edema either, no skin, lumps, no scratches, very good. And I'm going to check your capillary refill within two seconds, very good. I'm going to check the palm. Okay, everything looks very healthy and normal. I'm going to go ahead and check your lungs and your heart now. Okay, so just relax, breathe normal. So I'm listening only S1 and S2, no S3, no S4. That's very reassuring. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up. I'm gonna listen with a bell. Okay, so no murmurs, which means um, that there are no heart defects. And just take a deep breath in now and exhale. Good. Take a deep breath in and exhale. One more time. Good. Can you please turn around? I'm going to listen to the back. Okay, so we're going to start at the top and we're going to go in a zigzag. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Okay, so every time I touch the stethoscope, well, um, no. so every time the stethoscope touches your skin, take a deep breath in and exhale, okay? Good. 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 
Perfect. Okay. I'm going to have you lay down now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to listen to your belly, make sure that your bulk sounds are normal, and after that I'm going to go ahead and slowly palpate. Is okay. that okay? Yes. Good. So you just breathe normal, relax. Okay, so all ball sounds were heard in four quadrants. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slowly palpate. Any pain when I do that? No. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and tap. Okay, so no signs of enlarged liver. That's good. Move down the legs, and I'm just going to check your legs for any edema and your capillary refill. Okay. Good. Okay, so just relax. I'm going to go ahead and feel your pedal pulse. Okay, I'd say it's a 2 plus. And on the other side. Okay, pedal pulse is also 2 plus and strong. I'm not noticing any edema. Just put your feet together. Okay. Can you please push with your heels? Okay. And push again. Very good. Can you please wiggle your toes for me? Very good. Okay. I'm just going to make some movements with your feet. Let me know if you're experiencing any kind of pain. Any pain when I do that? No. Okay. And the other one. Any pain? No. Okay. Okay, Katharina. Now, I just want to make sure that you have full sensation in your ears. And can you please close your eyes? Tell me with which ear you feel this. The right. Good. The left. Good. Right and left. Okay, very good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a vibration sound with a tuning fork and there are two positions. One is like this, so that's position number one, and two is position number two. I'm going to ask you to tell me which one is louder, one or two. So that's one, two, two, very good. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Number two, definitely. Very good. Okay. So the next test, we're going to create a vibration sound. We're going to put it on the mastery process on each side. And I'm going to need you to tell me if you hear it louder in one ear or the other. Okay. That's one. I'd say maybe the left ear was louder. Okay. That's both very similar. It's very similar. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the circumference of your arms. Is that okay? I want to make sure that they're equal. Okay. Just put your arm like this. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and compare. Okay, very good. And now I'm going to measure your waist. Can you please hold this for me? Yes.
with Katharina. So your annual physical was absolutely normal. You're very healthy and I'm gonna have to see you back in a year. How does that sound? That sounds great. Wonderful. If you're having any kind of uh, medical problems, don't hesitate to call us, okay? Okay. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.